What's up, guy? Here today, DJ Ray. Back to you, another TV show review today. We'll be reviewing Secret Phaser Episode One to all the way to final episode. Well, of course, I won't be reviewing Episode One to Two because I will review them. I got to review Episode Three, Four, Five, and Six, I believe. I have to go wait in the whole show. So, if you had not seen Secret Phaser, I recommend. In the magazine working planet, but if you do want to go to watch it, go watch it on the on Daily Push. You know, so you can watch it on a legal website if you want to. <laughs> Just saying. But anyway, they get in the review. Secret Vision. I uh, I, I enjoy the show. I enjoy the show, even though the problem I have with this show. And by the way, the final episode, they dropped the ball on the final episode. But, but, I think that Seagull Vader should have never been on their favorite show. They should have never made, they should have never made Secret, Secret, Secret Evasion a show. Because Secret Evasion is one of the best storylines that Marvel Comics have put out. Than that decade so to just turn into a show basically I got no lit favorite show turning into a five show I didn't really like that because you could tell a good story with the Avenger going with the, with a score or you could have uh have them facing the Fantastic Four no they have to score facing the theory Really don't make any sense. Yes, yeah, maybe go get involved if they were fighting for the potential for the other adventure or maybe the fucking X Men. But still, though, know, shut down, stupid. In this show, I'm not gonna say this show was bad because it didn't show not bad. I like the other folks saying these did the work into the show. And not, and not even by far, it, it's literally might be the top three or the top four best in the show. But nobody did not want to watch this show because of Dizzy. Now, I'm not saying this all Dizzy fault. This is a whole, like, most of this fault. But, you know, you take quality over quantity. If you go uh, quantity over quantity. You got to put out... The best quality project ever. Yeah, Secret Vision was a good show. But nobody cared because you got so many interesting show like Miss Marvel that is straight on track. I don't only like watch two episodes of Miss Marvel. They I I ain't finished Miss Marvel at all. I, I only watched the first episode and uh, I think with the last episode with the view that she was a, was a mutant. That was a nine. That was the only two episodes I ever watched Captain Marvel. I mean, not Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel. Then we're going to get the, the Marvels movie. Even though that one, I'm not going to say it's going to look bad, but it got potential to be great. It also got potential to be the worst MCU film ever. The way they going, all the way till the video will be trash. But we ain't talking about Captain Marvel 2. We're talking about Secret Invasion. The villain was great. I think, I think he was God. God, he, he was great. He was a great villain. Eminem Croc. I'm being drink on it. Don't know why Emily Clark was in this show. Oh, they could have given her a different character in the show. She gotta be a whole different character, but they would give her this character. They give her a score character. Whoa. I do not like that at all. That's I did not like how they wake. I mean, Emily Clark was good in it. I like to say she was bad, but still, though, they kind of waste Emily Clark. Um, potential and Samuel L. Jackson in their favorite is Samuel L. Jackson in their favorite. Now, come on, he always, he always does great in their favorite. But they don't like it. This show was great, even though they dropped the ball. I think Marvel Studio Kevin Feige really dropped the ball for putting Secret Vasion at a net favorite show. Secret Vasion should never, should never, never been a net favorite show. If you want to do a net favorite show, you could have done a net favorite show. You could have done a net favorite show, 
like when he was like a young Nick Fury, or maybe maybe like Nick Fury in his fifties or forties, you know what I'm But no, hey, oh, we we gonna turn the secret base over now to a Nick Fury person of course over now. Like, hey, like that. If I give a rating, my original rating of this show was eight point nine out of ten because I really enjoyed this show. This show ain't bad, even though it had some few issues, like even though they waste even they caught potential. And um, this should have been like a this should have been um a Avenger secret invasion movie, but that is not the show good. It did give me a secret, not a Falcon Winter Soldier, a Winter Soldier in a Civil War vibe. But the final episode dropped the ball so hard that it dropped down to an eight point five out of ten. I give this show an eight point five out of ten. The show was not bad. Show had potential. The potential just flopped because you put it at a t you had a sequel invasion because you could have make a movie about that. Then you dropped the ball to make it a show. But it's still a great show though. So guys, how you feel about the sequel invasion show? You you like it? You enjoyed it? Or y'all did you did you, 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 you didn't watch it or you didn't care? Leave it down below. This is the digital ringing. Sign out. Deuce.